Lack and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of February 2022. Wani, Wan Pra, Wani Buddha Day. Happy Buddha Day. Some people are, a lot of people are eating vegan today. It's really, really cool. Morning temperature, 9 degrees. Not so nasty air, even though it's the start of February. Breakfast is ready. We have problems with rats now. They're eating our fly protection for the bananas and want to eat our bananas. It's not cool at all. Fabian's cool rat trap is not working. Even there's like a very delicious banana on top. They don't really want to come here and fall down the bucket. I don't know why. I have no idea. Ciao, Tom. Tawadi ton ciao, kao, Tom. Benyengai bang. Mm -hmm. Because we're so many people around here right now, there's still water behind, uh, not on the left side of the bathroom, which is not normally never happens. But apparently, when people uh, wash their clothes a lot and use the uh, hand wash, the sink, then there's water still around, which is pretty amazing. And of course, also when uh, using the the kitchen sink. So all of this adds to the water where we have like water here, which will, is completely, this is completely abnormal for, because it's February and it should be super mega dry right now, but it's not really, but some areas, yes. If you look at the path here, it's pretty dry, right? But in some areas where there's shade and water coming in, it will still be very moist. Fabian is making his breakfast and he will be staying around for quite some time. Let's see how, how long he lasts. Sweet tamarind season. Also the makrut limes started to drop from the tree near the bathroom and the kitchen. And also the potatoes started sprouting really well, some of them at least. And they will be ready to be planted in buckets because we hope that planting them in buckets will make them grow better and not getting go rotten and not being eaten by one million bugs. Let's see. Some young jackfruits, some salad in Fabian's garden, some pakatam over there, some cucumbers or something, and a white potato behind, so a nice little experiment. The bamboo rack has been very nicely organized, so everything looks good. Small table where we have like small pieces of bamboo to do all kinds of cool stuff with a nice little roof it's very nice to have this here whenever we need to tinkle around with some bamboo it's very nice to be able to stand the clean charcoal project coming up we have been inspired by the stuff they're doing up at uh, pan pan where they make charcoal like clean burn wood to make charcoal and also just to burn all kinds of things so we want to show people how to do clean burning around here because a lot of people are burning stuff without clean burning and it's just smoke all day and the air quality just gets worse and worse. So <clears throat> if you want to try to do some clean burning and you're in the area of Lee, you're welcome to come by and uh, try it out. Mangoes were in full bloom. When they're full blooming like this, it seems like there were like there were like a lot of flowers. It's crazy amounts, and the only thing is that I thought in the beginning, ah, we will get a ton of mangoes. But these, it looks like these are not giving any fruit. All of these are are dead. So what they usually do is just take off these dead flowers and make the new ones come. I think that these will fall off automatically, and the new flowers will come anyway. But if you know anything about mangoes and and you know that we need to take off these to make them flower again to, to, to uh, produce then please let me know in the comments below and as you can see in the background we have the oh, the big bamboo and you can see that the dry season is coming because they are like drying out there are some they're not green all of them and now it's uh, also the cold season Fabian is helping out with the electric lawnmower, so I'm not alone with the lawn mowing task, which is nice. And yeah, you can see the difference. 
over there that is not lawn mowed yet. 85% sure that everybody in this area will say that we need to take off all the all the fl old flowers. Now the flowers that were here like the last month flowering full bloom it was like also if you're very allergic with pollen this is not good for you like a like a full bloom of mangoes it's insane but cool too it's a good nice smell and everything people are sometimes asking me what what, what is the most natural or the best way like very focused on, on on taking stuff naturally like how can i get b12 naturally how can i get the uh, vitamin D naturally and the funny thing is that these people are not living natural lives or like what what is natural life right what what is natural at all so that all the focus about natural is very 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 strange for me sometimes so for example people are working on their computers all day in an office or at home not being exposed to sunlight and then uh, they go to a gym and train Gym and training is very nice, especially if you live in a cold area and it's like horrible to train outside. Then it's better to maybe train in a gym. But then I don't think you need the most natural way to get vitamin D. Because the most natural way of living might be uh, nearby the equator. And if you don't live nearby the equator and live outside, picking, growing your own food, picking your own food, food, uh, living of plants then maybe you need to do some unnatural things to get your vitamins for example uh, take some um, vitamin pills that you suck in your mouth because then you start the digestion process the absorption process of the vitamins already with your saliva in your mouth uh, that's much better than swallowing a pill and, uh, and uh, have your stomach do the magic I've also tried, when I was living in Denmark, I also tried to do the solarium sunbed experiment. And I, I researched a lot. You can search, look it up on heleplan.dk, um, the, the website, I'm um, a uh, Danish website, um, about the solarium and D vitamin uh, stuff I wrote there. And you can see that even though uh, I was. On the, in the sunbeds quite a lot it didn't really help my vitamin D so I, I actually went and said okay I need to take the vitamin uh, vitamin D pills um, and also you can get vitamin D D2 and D3 and that can help with the experiment because as far as I remember D3 is the thing you get from the Sun and D2 is the thing you get from uh, sources of food or like mushrooms if you expose mushrooms to sunlight they will also absorb some is it D2 or D3? Okay. You need to look it up um, to be more specific. But the whole point is natural is not really a thing anymore because nothing really is natural. It's not even natural to have like 200 mango trees in one area. It's not really natural. Uh, that's why I'm trying to implement some banana palms, not banana palms, banana plants and other, other species of plants inside the mango orchard because I don't want only a single plant um, to grow here because we still have the problems with uh, mango stem borers which is a pain to, to handle but they are there and as long as we have some wasps or wasps then it's just much easier to maintain. So if you're living an unnatural life then you might need to go for some unnatural means like taking vitamin D pills and getting vitamin D vitamin B12 shots or vitamin B12 pills or whatever or like sprays also quite effective I've heard so otherwise you need to go and eat food from the ground and if you don't do that and even if you, even if you do it's not even not even mm, sure that you will get the vi vitamin B12 from, from the ground because the uh, soils have been completely destroyed by humans over the past last 50, 100 re years. So as they say, everything went wrong after we started farming. Humans started farming, everything and it just goes, it just goes, <laughs> it's worse, 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 worse the more we farm. The more we interact with, with, the more we disturb nature, 
the more it just gets revenge on us. And let's see how, how long we will, we will survive this mess. Very clear mountains, eight kilometers away, which is very, very cool. Very nice air quality, even though 1st of February. Amazing. Durian still alive in the banana protection area. Pretty cool. The majestic red cavendish, very cool. We just harvested uh, a, a rack of red cavendish yesterday also from another area. The new bathroom is cool and ready. Check out these, this door going both ways. Very cool. Except that we have this uh, growth of mold. We can just burn it if you want. And some uh, powder post beetles, so a quick little burn would uh, benefit this a lot. You can see powder post beetles here. Or we can even paint it with limestone solution to protect it from the elements too. But otherwise, we have the bathroom, which is very nice. And walls are finished. And the rain shower so it's very nice and we need to get some more of these white white stones very nice very nice shower very nice everything i really enjoy it. like i enjoy it like very open you can see the things outside the integration of the teak wood the 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 trees three three trees inside and yeah it's just cool and nice and the only thing is that ties feel like they don't are they are not completely private because the 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 walls are not completely like completely you can you can look out but it's just very difficult to look inside and nobody is like we don't have children peeking around here at at, at this time at least and you can see the door is created by having a, a bamboo a bamboo inside a bamboo so this is the hinge and the same concept in in the lower part and then we just screw it inside the even this is like a a little um, plug here and then there's wood then we can screw attach this wood to the the brick here outside the mud brick here the same concept on the other side quite some screws have been used for this project and next gardens salad very nice very nice to eat a lot of salad so a lot of fresh leafy greens very good very healthy to implement that in your in everybody's diet I, 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 I guess another area where there is a garden there are also a lot of greens here but now the next crop is coming up the cool thing about Thailand is that if the things the, the plants have have some water then they will grow because it's always warm in Thailand like the lowest temperature we had this this year and and maybe the last year also like was nine degrees celsius nine degrees celsius is cold for humans maybe but it's not really cold for for plants they can survive as long as it's not frost and it's ne not, never have been frost the record cold uh, temperature has been around six degrees celsius way above freezing temperature the papaya ripening has slowed down a little bit maybe because it it's cold and maybe not so much rain but uh, I think this one is ready to, to harvest today or tomorrow and as you can see this longan tree the flowers are coming up so we are getting uh, longans and like is experimenting with strawberries still so there are some strawberries maybe some strawberries coming up together with some flowers and some salad very nice And look at that, we have on the left side, we have the new land where we are growing uh, avocados and we still have a lot of banana plants and uh, of course Lex Gardens with uh, sweet corn and maybe potatoes and tomatoes coming up. But otherwise, look at that, you can see those mountains in the background, 16 kilometers away. Yes, the air quality is very, very nice. If you can see those mountains clearly like this, 16 kilometers away, Yes, 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 we have good air. And it's freaking smoke season. I'm proud of you, Thailand. I'm very proud. And Southeast Asia, because Southeast Asia must have been doing something or we just get some more rain. 
we had some rain, so maybe that's it. But otherwise, I'm very proud, I'm very happy that we can breathe, really breathe, like deeply. And it's 1st of February. Wow, amazing, Thailand. And this is uh, makrut lime, which is also, we have been cut from the big one, makrut in front of our kitchen. And also other cool plants like bamboo. Bamboos are growing here, which is very nice. And yeah, everything is good. Oh, and we have the peppers, the green peppers coming up, as you can see here. These are, this is the green pepper. It seems like it's powering up. Maybe some chilies also. Let's see what's, what's going to happen. Always, as always, exciting times in the vegan camp. Vegan camp, Thailand, Lack and Greg vegan camp. Rose apples, very cool, very cool looking, but being, being eaten by bugs most of the time. So this is my fan club. They're, they're very big fans. They're, they're, they're cheering for me every day. Vegan camp. Sujat. Yay! Woohoo! Well, right now we are very low on limes, but as you can see there are some flowers. It has been flowering for a while now and uh, limes are coming up again very soon. Let's see if we have limes, limes again at the end of this month. Okay guys, see you next time. Jergan, clip na, krap.